A while ago I wanted to paint again, and it had been around 6 months since I had last painted and I wanted to do something in a different style. So I decided to create an Asian inspired piece as I wanted something in a similar fashion to the Japanese woodblock prints made by Hokusai. I also realized a lot of my works featured men, but didn't really have too many feminine characters, so I tried my hand at something a bit different to get outside of my comfort zone. The reason why I draw mostly men and ugly demons and creatures is because that is what I'm good at, and that is what I drew all throughout middle school being a fan of the classic Marvel comic book superheroes and villains. So taking that into account, I decided decided to make the main character in the painting a woman, which I have trouble drawing as they all tend to turn out masculine. I figured it was going to be a challenge, and if I wanted to finish this painting in a timely manner, I couldn't pack too much detail into it. So I made sure to simplify the painting as much as I could because I didn't want to have another 70 hour painting on my hands like the other one I did last year. So I broke the painting down into two main colors and a few repeating patterns and elements such as the koi fish, paper boats, and waves. Though I decided to simplify the painting, that doesn't mean that it's a painting really for aesthetic purposes. And to clarify, there is nothing wrong with a painting that is just meant to be aesthetically pleasing. But personally with my work, I believe it's more interesting to put meaning behind it to provoke thought and to create conversation. It's also just more fun to look at in my opinion. It fires up my imagination a lot more. You don't even really have to call it meaning as much as it is just things that are there to provoke thought. There really is no meaning to anything and it's just up to the viewer to decide what it means to them. And it actually felt more like a challenge thinking of ways to enhance art through simplifying rather than packing it full of things to look at. It is fun creating artwork that is packed full of things, showing the chaos, the endlessness, the thoughts and feelings, but one could get lost in that whole thing and sometimes it is just better to simplify life instead of looking up close at all the chaos, but instead taking a step back and looking at the order and patterns of our existence. It is all really the same thing, you could see it all as either order or chaos depending on how close or far away you look at it. Within most of my art, I choose to display a lot of little things as I said earlier, creating a chaotic mess that makes one big scene or picture that all comes together, packed full of meaning and little concepts, but why not use a few things to describe the duality of our existence? I decided I would best display that idea by first using koi fish, which is an ancient symbol coming from China and Japan, used to depict many things, but overall to convey the strength needed in the upstream struggle for life. There's an ancient tale in China about a school of golden koi who fought the current of the Yellow River and swam upstream until they found the waterfall at the end of the stream. Many koi fish decided to turn back, but a few remained and tried to make it up the waterfall. Eventually, after a hundred years, the one koi fish that still remained made it to the top of the waterfall, where it was rewarded by the gods by being turned into a golden dragon. Unfortunately, I didn't include any golden dragons in my painting because that is not really the focus or the moral of the story, or at least that's what I believe. I think what the legend was trying to convey is more about the journey than the final result. Of course, it could be fun when you finally reach that goal, but what's next? Humans can never really settle, there's always something else, therefore the journey will never cease to end, and throughout the journey if one doesn't give up, they will become the dragon in the process and be looked up upon as so. The koi fish are like the base models of what we are now, and the golden dragon is like the koi fulfilling its utmost potential. As you can see, I even made the koi fish look more evolved, as the fish I painted are more than just the normal koi, but definitely not a dragon yet. In the painting, one fish is jumping up while the other is going down, showing the endless cycle of the ups and downs of life. For me personally, it shows the endless amount of times that I've tried something and failed over and over again. Over the last few years, I've talked to many people that are considering being an artist or some kind of creator for their career, but they are hesitant when I ask if they've ever used social media to promote their work. They get embarrassed and say that they don't feel as if they're good enough yet. Maybe they'll test the water and post one or two pieces of art, but they convince themselves that no one really appreciates it, and they destroy their own confidence before anyone else can. It's like that one tried the waterfall and decided to turn around. I know it's hard to stick to one thing, whatever that hobby may be, but maybe one day if one is consistent enough and continues to put in the time and effort, they will become the dragon. Anyways, back to the meaning of this painting. The two opposite colors convey the dualism of life and death, the pressure and release, the intensity and calmness, the polarity that makes up our existence of just trying to stay grounded in this weird reality that we live in. The deep red sun in the back is contrasting the cool blue of the woman goddess below, the clocks falling out of her face is referring back to the endless cycle of life and death. Things will continue to happen whether we use this human measurement of time or not. Time doesn't really matter in the end. One's perception of time can sometimes be the thing that holds one back, as it was created by humans for organizational reasons, but is it really useful when taking the big step back and seeing what life really is. 
The paper boats were used to symbolize hope and exploration, because without that stuff, life really becomes too nihilistic, and we sink and fold into the opposite of the golden dragon that we could be. If we didn't have hope, then we wouldn't have ever come this far, as a species and as an individual. I also have wanted to include paper boats or paper airplanes in my art for a while, and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do so. I expected to finish this painting over the course of a few days, but in the end, it took me a few weeks due to being busy around the holidays and working on a ton of other projects. The total amount of time spent was around 20 to 30 hours as I forgot how tedious painting could be sometimes, especially when I decided to create gradients all throughout the piece. Though the time spent went above what I expected, I am beyond happy that I chose quality over anything else. I learned a lot, I enjoyed the process, and I'm very happy with how it turned out in the end. I wouldn't take anything back. I don't have any formal training in this medium, and I use Posca paint pens for most of it, so in a way, it's a drawing. But when I have to paint this small, I find it easier to use Poscas instead of brushes for the sake of consistency and accuracy. However, when I move on to bigger canvases and get a better setup and try different styles, I do plan on using brushes more. I feel like if other fine artists in paint watch my process, they would be somewhat frustrated as there are definitely many shortcuts that I'm not aware of. But I find enjoyment in just doing it my own way, even if it does take longer because I'm not really looking for efficiency and to get a system down to create paintings faster and faster. That's not the point when creating art, at least for me. The reason why I never seem to lose motivation is because I find art to be that thing that is just for me. It's myself and I don't have to worry about anyone else except for myself and how I choose to do things. When things have to be done a certain way, it takes the fun out of it and it's completely foreign to me. I never completely understand something unless I take the time to do or understand it myself and art gives me the freedom to do so. Overall, I wanted to create a piece intertwining simplicity and balance with a message about the endless ups and downs of life. There was a lot of thought that was put into this piece, but in the end, I don't expect people to look at this piece in any way that I did, because it's all subjective. It can just be another aesthetically pleasing piece to someone, or have a whole new meaning for others. It doesn't really matter to me at the end of the day. I'm just happy that I created this, and I'm grateful for the people that choose to support my craft, because I love doing this stuff, and I want to continue to sustain myself through this so I can just keep creating. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing more of what I create, feel free to check out my YouTube channel or my Instagram and TikTok in the description below. If you feel like supporting my work or brand, please check out the website that is also in the description where I sell apparel, prints, and original artwork. Thank you.